Homework question 15.10. We're told the following information, and be careful, your numbers might be slightly different than mine. I've got 1.79 grams of sodium hydroxide is added to a 500 milliliter solution. Um, we're then asked to find the hydronium concentration of that solution. So this is a little bit different than the calculations we did in class in that we have to find that concentration. And so for the first step to find that concentration, well, we have mass, we need to find moles. And so I've got 179, 1.79 grams of sodium hydroxide. And I know that sodium hydroxide is 40 grams for one mole. That's the molar mass. So I have approximately 4.475 e to the negative 2 moles of sodium hydroxide. Concentration is molarity, moles per liter, right? So I have 500 milliliters, which is 0.5 liters. So 1 over 0.5 liters. And that leaves me with a concentration of 8.95 e to the negative 2 molar sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, and so that means the concentration of sodium hydroxide equals the concentration of hydroxide. So hydroxide equals 8.95 e to the negative 2 molar because sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it completely ionizes in solution. We're asked to find the hydronium ion concentration. There's a couple different ways you can find this. There's some easy ways, there's a hard way. Uh, I'm gonna do the easy way. So we know Kw equals hydronium times my hydroxide concentration. And we know Kw is one e to the negative 14. That equals the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide, which is 8.95 e to the negative 2. So I'm going to divide that across to get the concentration of hydronium by itself. So 8.95 e to the negative 2, 8.95 e to the negative 2. And I get the concentration of hydronium in this solution to be approximately 1.12 e to the negative 13 molar. Again, you could have solved this problem a few different ways. Um, the way I chose to, to solve it was using Kw equaled hydronium times hydroxide. Um, we could have found pOH to then find pH and then use 10 to the negative pH. That would have been a little bit more involved. Um, but these are the steps involved to solve this problem. Just be careful, though, your mass might be a little bit different. Your initial mass of sodium hydroxide might be different. The steps would be the same.